stop for a moment it's because there's a huge chance you're using the wrong SSD. Most people think M.2 automatically means fast or that NVMe and SATA are basically the same thing. They're not. And choosing the wrong one can make your PC feel slow, overheat, or waste your money. Give me a few minutes. I'm gonna make SSDs so simple you'll wonder why no one explained them like this before. First, let's talk about the SATS SSDs. They're way faster than hard drives, but compared to modern SSDs, they're basically fast, but not that fast. Maximum speeds are around 550 megabytes per second, which was crazy fast 10 years ago, but now it's the entry level. The good news, they're cheap, compatible with almost everything, and great for breathing life into older laptops and desktops. SATA SSDs are perfect for people who just want their computer to stop feeling like it's from the stone age. If you're upgrading from an HDD, even a basic SATA SSD will feel like a rocket ship. Next on the list is the NVMe SSD. NVMe drives are where things get serious. These are insanely fast because they use the PCIe lanes on your motherboard, which is basically the highway of your computer. Speeds range from 3000 megabytes per second to 7000 megabytes per second or more depending on PCIe generation. If you want the fastest everyday performance, NVMe is the drive you're looking for. Once you've used NVMe, going back to SATA feels like downgrading from a Tesla to a bicycle. Next up, the M.2 SSD. M.2 is the most misunderstood term in the SSD world. M.2 does not mean fast. It does not mean NVMe. It only describes the shape of the drive. It's just a slim, gumstick-sized connector that supports both slow SATA SSDs and fast NVMe SSDs. Some motherboards support only NVMe M.2 drives, while others support both SATA and NVMe. So when someone says, I bought an M.2 SSD, it literally tells you nothing about its speed. Always check whether it's SATA or NVMe. The difference is massive. Now we got the PCIe SSD. PCIe add-in card look like mini graphics cards. They plug directly into a PCIe slot on your motherboard instead of using an M.2 port. These are meant for professional users who need extreme speeds and better cooling. Because they're larger, they often come with powerful heat sinks or even active cooling. For regular gaming or everyday use, this is overkill. But for 8K editing, massive databases or workstations, these drives shine. They're basically the I want no limits option. Next up, the U.2 SSD. U.2 SSDs are mostly used in servers, big workstations, and enterprise systems. They look like 2.5 inch SATA, but they connect using a special U.2 cable that supports NVMe speeds. This means U.2 combines the size of SATA with the speed of NVMe. They stay much cooler than M.2 drives because they aren't cramped between CPU and GPU. They're easy to hot swap, which makes them perfect for servers that need non-stop uptime. Next on the list, external NVMe SSD. External NVMe drives are basically NVMe SSDs inside a small USB-C or Thunderbolt enclosure. They offer super high speeds, often over 1000 megabytes per second, and sometimes much higher with Thunderbolt. They're perfect for creators, gamers, and anyone who needs fast portable storage. These drives load games quickly, transfer 4K and 8K files instantly, and work across PC, console, and even phones. Because they're NVMe based, they're much faster than old school USB hard drives. If you edit videos on the go, these drives are lifesavers. Next up, the external SATA SSD. External SATA SSDs are slower portable drives because inside them is basically a regular 2.5 inch SATA SSD. They're limited to around 500 megabytes per second, but they're cheap, reliable, and great for simple tasks like backup or media storage. They plug in through USB, usually USB 3.0 or 3.1, and work with pretty much any device. They're perfect if you need portable storage but don't need crazy speeds. For moving movies, files, or photos between devices, these are perfect and budget-friendly. 
Next on the list, MSATA SSD. MSATA SSDs were the original small-sized laptop SSDs before M.2 existed. They look like tiny cards and use the SATA interface, meaning their speed tops out around 550 megabytes per second. They're found in older Ultrabooks, mini PCs, and older small form factor devices. You usually only buy MSATA if you're upgrading an older laptop that doesn't support M.2. For modern systems, MSATA is basically retired technology. And now at last, the EMMC. EMMC isn't really a traditional SSD. It's storage soldered directly to the motherboard, usually in budget laptops, Chromebooks, and tablets. It's slower and cheaper, similar to the storage inside smartphones. It can't be upgraded, can't be replaced, and usually has a limited lifespan because it's soldered. When it fills up, that's it. EMMC is fine for light tasks like browsing, documents, or schoolwork. But for gaming or heavy programs, it falls behind even the slowest SATA SSDs. If this video helped you understand which SSD you actually need, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment what type of SSD you are using.